Right, oh, good morning, guys. Uh, morning of day three. Yep, I'm losing count already. Um, the camp spot that we were at yesterday, we started getting blown with these sand flies, so it was worked out alright, didn't it? Because yeah. we found this beautiful spot here just on the cliffs here, so. Not too bad, even Well, you got banged the worst, didn't yeah. you? <laughs> Pack camp up at 8 o'clock at night yeah. camp wasn't ideal, but it's alright. Wake up this morning, there was a fair bit of fog around. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And another beautiful day, so what's the plan today, mate? Go for broke. Go for broke. Go for broke. <laughs> they said the fisherman track is closed, but we, we've spoken to someone and they've sort of given us a, a back road. Um, so let's see how that goes. If not, we've got a plan B in place. So. That's it. Let's see how we go. I hope we get in there, throw the tinny back in the water. Adventure awaits, brother. That's it, mate. Let's do it. Cheers, guys. Okay, morning of day three, just taken off from camp now. I definitely, definitely recommend this campsite to anyone. It's called Big Quarum Campsite. Um, there's three or four spots here, no worries at all. You can fit three or four um, cars in with a bit of uh, handy parking. Um, oh, you actually can't see behind me, but it's absolute, you'll see in the video, beautiful, beautiful views. So now we're sort of just gonna head back to the main track as it's like a, probably about a 12, 13K drive off road. Um, head back to the main road, pump up the tyres, and then try and get to try and get to broke and see if we can get something there. So fingers crossed. Let's have a good day. Cheers, guys. We uh, tried the main road, obviously. Nah, um, I don't. They keep that side pretty clean, apparently, for a reason. So they block off all drive access to the beach, which I don't mind really. It's a bit annoying, but I don't really mind. Um, so now we're heading down another way. We've been told there's another track, maybe, possibly that has access to the inlet, but I, I, I'm not holding high hopes for it. So, uh, but never mind. I've got a plan B in uh, in place. So let's see how we go, mate. Beautiful. So you want to head sort of southeast along um, Chesterpeak Road and then we'll take sort of a left towards the Broke Inlet and we'll have a little bit of a um, trek along that road there, eh? Yeah, beautiful mate. No, that sounds good. Um, how far is that up? Uh, judging by the HEMA map, I'm suggesting that's about 2 or 3k up the road here and the road into the inlet's about another 3 or 4k, mate. Beautiful mate. We'll lead the way and I'll, um, I'll just follow you. Roger. Cheers, mate. Fresh crusty bread, chili mussels, my weakness. Dip him in. I got robbed here. How come I gotta carry everything? <laughs> I'm struggling here. Struggling with the camera, are you, mate? 
Right, I just going down to the tinny, fill her up. Um, gotta try to head out to this island out here. Pete's got marked on his hema. So, it's meant to be 2k, should be fun in a little tinny. See how we go. She's still here anyway, I had them floating down away overnight, so. Let's have a look at this. Absolute bloody milk pond. So uh, uh, we didn't bring any uh, fishing rods as we f actually threw our bait out yesterday with the rubbish. So I don't know if you can see the island in the background there. We're just gonna go and have a look and see see what it's all about while it's nice and smooth. Now yesterday was a bit choppy, so we just sort of went for a cruise and, and enjoyed the, the Arvo having a couple of beers back at the um, at camp. So let's see how we go. Hopefully we can get there. It's about two or three Ks it shows me on the map from where we camp, so. Let's do this. Out here, we've seen a few fish jumping out of the water and that, so we're heading back, going to get the rods. Chuck a couple of rods on and see how we go. out this morning for a bit of a flick. No luck though. I think we're just pretty crap fishermen to tell you the truth. <laughs> not wrong there, not wrong there. So Pete's got a couple of tracks for us to get to our next spot. Yep. Where are we going mate? Um, it's sort of on the, we're on, we're on one side of Broke um, Inlet at the moment. Now we're going to sort of uh, take a track to head around the other side near the inlet. So hopefully we can find a camp, a little camp around there. I have a little spot that I can see on the satellite image there. but. Uh, fingers crossed again that we can get a nice spot like like this one. This one's absolutely beautiful. I'm pretty so, lucky this one, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, see how we go. We can get some nice footage. Thanks, guys. Righto, we're just about to get ready to lift this tinny up. We thought we'd just show you exactly how we do. It's quite easy with the with the four of us. So. Great idea, these bloody things for no. Oh yeah, better help, eh? You're inside the jacket, bro. Come on here. Easy as that, strap it in, off we go. Hello 
guy, look to the next camp, uh, day four. Just hit this track to try to get down to the Shannon River. And I think it hasn't been used for a while because it's another one of those tracks that is just, there's no way besides pushing yourself through it. Which is a bit tight, all overgrown, which is hopefully a good thing. I mean, no one's down here. Um, bad news is we're not allowed to fish in the Shannon River due to they're trying to figure out what the local environment and all that and how it affects the marin and fishing and all that so no fishing which is a big crap but it is what it is I guess so we've got probably another five k's or so down through this track until we get there and once we get there we'll uh, see what we got Man, this track is insanely tight. G'day guys, we've turned off onto a track. The track looks pretty inviting. There's a little bit of uh, mud and uh, a bit of water on the track. We've only hit about a quarter of the way and it's uh, pretty inviting. We've uh, come across a big log that's fallen down, or a big tree that's fallen down across the track. There's two ways under. You've got the biggest part of the trunk this side and we've got the branch overhanging that side. Nathan always carries a chainsaw, or one of us does, for occasions like this. We're going to chop it down and we're going to reopen the track for people like us and yourself to get through and have some more fun. And probably, hopefully, there's a little cherry of a riverbank or something at the end. And uh, we'll put that on camera and show you what it come up with. Don't try this at home. Got Chinese workman boots on, we're good. <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> What an awesome track this is turning out to be. Heaps of little mud. We just went through a nice, nice size little mud puddle. A bit, bit scratchy, but I recommend anyone to come down. It. Um, oh, it's really turning out to be fun anyway. You know, cutting down a tree to open it up. I think this might reward us, but it might not, but it's rewarded me anyway, because it's bloody good fun anyway. So, awesome. Let's keep it going. Track, mate. <laughs> right, guys, we made it to the end of that track. We had to cut down a few small branches that were overhanging the track. Uh, you'll see from some of the footage, it was quite tight, but um, wasn't sort of as bad as that track we did at Horrocks. Uh, just as this stuff's quite soft and green, so it sort of just peels back on your car, which is all right. Um, made it to the end and there's a beautiful campsite and it's untouched right on a river You basically have your, your own small boat ramp which is far down the river You can't fish there because you're not allowed to fish But beautiful to have a swim in no worries at all um, So anyway now we're just going straight back through the same track again um, Going out to the main track and then heading, heading um, uh, further up towards um, up, up north, heading up north again, and just seeing what else we can find along the way. Beautiful, enjoy. Every time! I don't even know why I'm in the mud and the boat but the, holding the camera's all nice and dry and is the one stuck. Thank you. <laughs> I ain't laughed behind the camera boy, eh? 
Petey boy's got himself into a bit of mischief. Uh oh. <laughs> Well, when you are, mate. No, I'm there. Good. And again. Go, go. Don't say your stuff. recovery here. Got the 105 series all uh, on the solid ground with uh, Nathan and Pete quite well stuck in the minute. We'll see how we go with this. Mitchell just take the slack up. Quick update, we've gone and had a look at uh, a couple of campsites that I've been told by um, a couple of people that I know, but they are taken. Um, it must be pretty busy down here. So we are trying to find a camp now, and we've made a plan to go back to a beach area that we know, but it's probably gonna, well, it's, it's well, what is it now? It's bloody quarter past three. And I think we've got a good old two hours ahead of us still of, of, of driving. Um, but not as I'm complaining, I love cruising along in my cruiser anyway, but um, I think it's gonna be a while before we get there. I mean, we've been on the road since 9.30 this morning, so yeah, it's a good six hours of bloody, <laughs> six, seven hours it's gonna be of um, full driving, I mean. And again, I'm not complaining, but it takes it out of you, mate. It takes it out of you. myself into a bit of predicament here. Um, there's water everywhere. Boys are trying to snatch me out now, we're pretty deep. Um, that didn't go to plan, did it? But um, at least on the plus side, my feet are pretty cool. We'll uh, have to see how we go. <laughs> Jesus. Righto guys, it is 10 to 8 and we're still driving through some bush tracks and it's bloody fun. Um, we are putting our faith in Mitch, he's, he reckons he, he's found something so that's all bloody good. I mean, I could go all night like this, it's 
I love it. I love driving at night. I love it so much. Um, but look, it is. I'm bloody hungry. Let's let's get something cooked. Let's get a camp sorted out. Um, let's see how we go. Keep you updated. Woo! Good morning guys, uh, yeah we pulled up to our last campsite last night, absolutely beautiful, camped underneath the hut. Um, so now what we're going to do, like all good things, awesome trips have to come to an end unfortunately. Um, so what we're going to do, cook some brekkie, take our time and then meander on uh, out of here. But look, just want to say thanks again for the support, thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next trip video, see you then.